All right guys, this is Jay at uh, Cartel Reptiles. Today I'm making a shout out slash question video. <laughs> um, this is my female lemon blast. Um, she's been a real picky eater for me. She has eaten once since I've gotten her. And I've had her for probably about a month. Um, what I had to do to get her to feed the first time, which was actually like two or three weeks after I got her, um, was last week actually was I have her in a shoe box um, better yet I'll show you exactly what her enclosure looks like it's a little bit wet sorry I pulled it out a little bit too quick this is exactly how I had her set up when I got her to eat all right so I had her water dish in the corner it's a, like a little four inch uh, flower pot bottom plastic whatever the hell it is and on the left it's the same thing it's a, a black plastic flower pot um, whatever that I cut a hole in. I am expecting those little uh, the little black hides from, sorry my cat's uh, screaming in the background, but um, those plastic hides from uh, Reptile Basics. What I had to do is I had to leave her at night um, untouched for about three days. I put a hopper in, closed it real quick, left her alone, she ate. The problem being is she will not strike food. She like wants to cuddle or just not interested at all. I have not yet tried African soft fur because I cannot find a single place local that even has them. Um, I did talk to a couple exotic shops and they used to carry them but now it's kind of hard I guess um, and I really don't want to wait until Arlington. There was a, a guy that I was talking to, Brett Bloom, that was going to give me probably two breeder sets so I can throw in one of my racks. Unfortunately, I'm in the El Paso, Texas area, which is around like Albuquerque, New Mexico, and that kind of region of it. I have no issue if someone wants to, um, like in the Phoenix area, something like that, I'll drive three or four hours to get African softwares. I do not want her to die, um, and I really do not like assist feeding. Uh, I think it just overly stresses out the animal. I'll do what I have to do, rather to keep her alive. Um, like I said, she's a she's a gorgeous, gorgeous lemon blast. I, I do not like assist feeding. Like I said, I'll do it if I got to. I just want to know if anybody has another way. I've tried mice, I've tried uh, rats. I'm gonna try a rat one more time, probably, probably tonight. I'll leave uh, a little rat pup that I, I just had some born last night. I'll try throwing one of those in there with her tonight, but um, if not, just uh, if you guys know any tips on getting little little babies to eat, um, that would be that would be awesome. I know you're wet. Um, I'll change you in a second. But um, a couple shout outs, BC Barkers. I've talked to him quite a few times. He's a great dude. Um, I mean, Steve's giving me some intel on, on some other things, so he definitely deserves it. Um, Lenny at LAC. Um, we talk quite a bit as well. Uh, Reptile Nexus, which I might be going into uh, possible partnership soon um, when I go back to the East Coast, when I'm done being stationed here and I'm out of the Army. Um, there are a few other people, I think uh, Sean Reptiles. He does, he does some reptile stuff. Um, he told me he was going to throw me a shout out soon, so I figured I'd do it first um, while I'm doing this video. Um, and if I missed anybody else, I'm sorry. Um, just let me know below. And when I'm feeding or something, I'll, I'll throw you guys a shout out or when I do another video. Um, I'll probably have one coming out either tomorrow when I get that Reptile Basics shipment in or um, I'm thinking Tuesday when I'm getting a couple snakes in. I'm getting one male, three females. Um, the one male is a single gene, two of the females are single genes, and I'm not going to tell you what the last one is. I want you guys to kind of guess. Um, I'm not even sure how many people watch this channel, to be completely honest, if I'm even talking to myself. But uh, throw, throw, some, uh, throw some guesses, I guess. I'll let you guys know what I have right now as of this exact second. Um, I picked up a 1,400 gram normal female yesterday um she's in quarantine right now probably mm, 
couple weeks I'll put a I'll put something too where I, I haven't quite figured it out yet. My cinnamon is still a little underweight, so I won't be throwing a cinnamon to her, but I mean I got yellow bellies and stuff like that that are that are too weight. But um, again, please let me know if you guys know any tips, tricks, um, other than assist feeding, because obviously I know how to do that. I've never done it before, but um, to my snakes at least, I've done it for someone else, but it's not something that I want to just jump into right now and, and get her feeding, try to get her feeding uh, back in check. Um, from when I got her, they told me, oh, she was eating fine. I've gotten her, she was in quarantine. Um, I just moved her into the rack. The first time I moved her into the rack um, is the time that I kind of had to trick her into eating. So now she is eating by herself. I didn't get in there. I'll have to change hers, but uh, I want to get her to eat by herself without having to, you know, kind of trick her into it. I mean, I guess it's kind of a conversation for another day, but uh. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Um, I'll be sure to try to get back into uh, posting as many videos up as I can that are useful. Please check out our blog spot. We, we just put one of those up. It's cartelreptiles.blogspot.com. Um, I'll put a link below. Check out our YouTube page. Please rate, subscribe, like, all that kind of stuff. We do have a Facebook as well. That's facebook.com slash cartelreptiles. Um, any other questions, let me know. Um, please PM me, stuff like that. We are looking for more female balls. But uh, again, this is Jay at Cartel Reptiles. God bless, guys.